Okay, let's have a little reminder, refresher of how we measure the orientation of a plane that's dipping um, in space. And we remember from the lectures that we need to measure both the strike of the plane, which is the orientation of a horizontal line on that plane, as well as the dip of the plane, which is the angle from horizontal of that inclined plane. When we're measuring the strike, um, we need to use our normal functions of our compass as well as the spirit bubble shown here that we've added to our normal navigation compass. So what we do is we always use the long side of our compass and we put that up against the inclined plane. And I need to move it a little until I've got my spirit bubble in the centre there, so indicating that the compass is horizontal. Then I need to move rotate the compass needle, compass uh, dial I should say, until the red arrow on the base lines up with the magnetic north arrow. Some people say red in the shed, and that's a really helpful way of remembering it. And once we've done that, we just double check that we're still holding it horizontal by checking the spirit bubble. And then we can read off the orientation as indicated on the compass. And by convention, we always use the range of 0 to 179 for the strike. So in this case, the strike of the plane, reading this off here, is 168 degrees. So we make a note of that on our, um, in our notebook. Now, we know the strike, we need to know the dip, we need to measure the dip. So we need to make use of the clinometer function on our uh, compass. So in order to make use of that, we need to align it so that it's um, usually east-west, typically is what we do, and then we put that long side where the clinometer is working on our inclined surface perpendicular to the dip line, the strike line I should say that we measured before. And then we just need to read off what the clinometer needle is saying in terms of the um, orientation of that plane. I need to get my head down and have a look at that and that's suggesting that the dip is about 50 degrees. And the dip by itself is not sufficient. We obviously need to know the dip direction. Um, so I need to look at our compass and that is dipping to the east in this particular case. So I would write 168 slash 50 east. And that's how we measure the strike and dip of our inclined plane in space.